Hello there, spinning team. My name is Lindsay, and welcome to your 45 minute ride, five round madness. We've got five rounds of some madness coming up throughout our ride. I'll tell you more about it later, but for right now, let's get started in our warm up. Find your dial, turn it up to the right until you feel something like your flat road come underneath your legs. It might take a couple turns to get there, no worries. You'll know when you're there. You feel a little bit of feedback underneath your feet. And then once you're there, RPM, find somewhere between 80 to 100 with your cadence. Nice and steady, it's smooth, it's easy. This is our zone one. Now, enjoy this zone one. We're not here very often throughout our ride today. Only pretty much in our warm up, in our cool down at the very end, and then in our recoveries in between those five minute segments that are coming up. So, what can you expect from your ride today? As I've kind of hinted, five rounds, they're all about five minutes each, and they are all some variation of a climb. Some in the saddle, some out, some in the boat. Our goal throughout each of those climbs is to have higher energy output, a higher wattage, or slightly higher RPE if you don't have a monitor or a way to gauge that. So a little bit harder than the last one. But right now, let's just focus on our warm up. Legs getting warmer. You should feel your heart rate coming up a little bit start to notice your breath in your body. You're not breathing heavy, but you can feel the breath flowing a little more. Take another inhale. On your exhale, soften your shoulders down your back. Relax at your elbows. Relax your fingers on your handlebars. Find a nice, comfortable, easy grip. Check back in with your RPM again, between 80 to 100. This should be easy. It's a one or a two on a scale from one to 10. And if my friend's wearing a heart rate monitor, you're below 60% of your max heart rate here. We're just about halfway through our warm up. Let's go through a couple drills to get our heart rate up just a little bit higher. Check out your current RPM. Get ready to add five to 10 to your RPM. In three, in two, in one. Pick up your speed go. You've got 30 seconds, a little bit faster. Good, keep that slightly faster speed. You're halfway there, 15 seconds. It's a consistent pedal stroke from one leg to the other. Steady, less than 10. We'll go back to that baseline speed in five, four, three, two, one. Back to your slower speed we started at. Remember, 80 to 100 RPM, somewhere within that range. Moving on in our warm up. you're still in that zone one. Find your dial. Add something to the right. Make it a little bit heavier. While, while staying on your flat. There's like variations of our flat. There's flat, flat, easy, easy, flat. And there's like slightly inclined flat. I want you to find that slightly inclined flat. It's one of those deceiving flats that when you're outside, you're like, oh, that looks pretty easy. And you get on and you're like, hmm, I can kind of feel my legs burning a bit. They're doing a little more work. It's not as easy as I thought. That's where I want you to be. You have about two minutes left in your warm up. It's a slightly longer warm up today than what I typically program because as soon as we get out of our warm up, I want us to be able to go from a zone one to a zone two to a zone three. More so on that zone three end. We're doing hard work, hard effort, and it's for a sustained period of time five minutes. Now, not all five of those minutes will be in that hard, hard zone, but a majority of, of, of it will be. So we'll be working on sustained. Endurance. That means I don't want you biting off more than you can chew. I'd rather you start at a moderate manageable place and then build and build and build and add, rather than go way too crazy and need to pull back. So it's about finding that balance between getting enough effort and not taking too much. You've got five rounds to work on this. So don't worry if round one, round two aren't quite what you were expecting them to be. We've got five opportunities today. There you go back to that acceleration. Check out your current speed. You're somewhere between 80 to 100 RPM. You're getting ready to add five to 10 RPM again. In three, in two, in one. Accelerate, let's go, pick it up. Should notice your heart rate comes up. 
your legs, give you a little more feedback. Absolutely manageable, it's under control, it feels good. Halfway. Stay on it. Less than 10 seconds. Keep that speed, we'll get to slow down again in five, four, three, two, and one. Slow your cadence back to your starting speed. Team, we've got less than 30 seconds. We move out of our warm up mode. Hopefully you're a little sweaty, like I am, and you're ready to get to work. We're done with this warm up pace. We are ready to go physically and mentally to be ready to move on. I know I am. All right, you've got five. Climb starts in three, two, one. Find your dial. Turn up to the right. Nice turn and turn. You're turning enough that your legs feel the need to slow down. So you're somewhere between 60 to 80 RPM, not because you're telling your legs to find 60 to 80 RPM, but because that resistance got so heavy that they needed to slow down. Let your resistance guide the cadence of your legs, not your brain. 60 to 80 RPM, we are on our five minute climb. Here's the deal. We have five more turns to the right. They're small. I won't tell you how big or how small, like quarter turn, half turn, that's up to you. But every time you turn, it's heavy enough that you feel some change. Remember that scale of one to 10 that we talked about earlier, RPE, rate of perceived exertion, how you think you're feeling, how you think you're performing, how you feel. That number should go up a little bit every time you turn to the right. Right now you should be around a three. A three on a scale of one to 10. You're out of your easy warm up zone. That's zone one, long gone. Find your dial. Add something to the right. Sometimes it takes a moment to feel that change that you brought on. It's not an immediate effort shift. You turn, you ride, you feel, you recognize. RPMs go no lower than 60 throughout the climb. No matter how heavy it gets, commit yourself to 60 RPM or above. We're looking good, riders. You're just about halfway up this first climb. We still have four more right turns to take. They're getting ready to come on. Find your dial. Add something to the right. Turn it up. A little heavier, a little stronger. You should be somewhere around a four on your scale of one to 10 by now. And legs are giving you a little bit more feedback. You're breathing a little heavier, but it's not hard effort yet. I'd call it moderate. For my friends wearing a heart rate monitor, you're somewhere between 65 to 75% of your maximum heart rate. All right, just gonna give our shoes, our toes, a little wiggle in your shoes. Soften your fingers, relax your jaw. That effort should be starting to creep up a little bit on us. Just in time for you to find your dial and turn it up to the right. Do it now, dial to the right. Yeah, feel that burn in the legs. Just under two minutes to go. Just under two. That means you're well over halfway. Two more times, that dial goes to the right. It's going to take you to the edge of uncomfortable, the edge of hard. Remember, we have five of these clients today. I don't want you giving it all in your first. Find your dial, turn it up to the right. Let's go. Should feel heavy, kind of like you're moving through like mud at this point. Should feel like it'd be nice to get out of the saddle. We're not there yet, not in this climb. You have one minute left to climb. A recovery is on the other end of this. One more right turn coming up. Are you ready? I'm ready, I know you're ready. Find your dial. Turn to the right, feel the burn, Woo. let's go. RPM no lower than 60. We 
are climbing, we are pushing. Remember, this is back to that edge of uncomfortable, the edge of hard. Embrace it, own it, lean into it. You should be closer to a five, almost a six, on a scale of one to 10. Hang on to it with me for 20 seconds, 20 seconds, you can do this. Relax your shoulders, keep moving. 10 seconds, all the way to the top. Recovery is here in five, in four, three, two, one. Find your dial, turn left, turn left. Find easy, Whew. find like a two on a scale of one to 10. You have about two minutes here to catch your breath. We're back to your flat road. Your dial turned to the left. Should already feel better for your legs. You're already breathing a little better, catching your breath. Here's a great time to towel off, take some small sips of water at a time, and then take some deep breaths. Not necessarily in that order, do what works for you. Feel like a little more comfortable now. Now I want us to think of that first climb as practice. I didn't want to tell you that going into that it was like practice because it was hard work by the end. And if I had said practice, I bet you we would have gone a little easier. We wouldn't have made it as difficult towards the end. Four more climbs coming up. They're all a little different. But now is where we get to start to talk about metrics a little bit. If you're using metrics, you can see your walk. Our goal for these next four is each climb, our metrics, our walks, are a little bit higher by the end than the one before. It's not, we're not going for max wattage here. Remember, this is more of endurance, five minutes of work. We're trying to end with higher watts. If you don't have a monitor where you can read watts, that's totally fine. We'll use that RPE, Rate of Perceived Exertion Scale, that scale of how you're feeling from one to 10. Now we ended this last one around a five out of 10. Our next one, we wanna to try to aim around a six. We're not jumping all the way up to eight or nine, just a six, a little bit harder. It's all about these small incremental changes. We have about 20 seconds and we move on. Take your last small sips of water, last few deep breaths before we move on. Say goodbye to recovery. Say hello to your next climb, your next challenge again. Now, the good news is you've done this part before. Turn your dial to the right enough that your legs start to slow. It's gonna be different for how many turns I take or you take, how big or how small they are. Keep turning until you find 60 to 80 RPM. Preferably on the higher end of that range for now, maybe 70 RPM. Once again, shoulders down the back. Relax through the fingers. Wait, breathe. This climb is a little bit shorter than your last, but you still have five right turns to take. Halfway through, it should be so heavy that we need to get out of the saddle. Find your dial. Take number one out of five. Turn it to the right. It's enough that you feel a little bit of a change. Now, we're starting in a zone two. That's where we were for our entire climb last time, zone two. We are ending in a zone three, so we're not flirting with uncomfortable or hard. We're on the edge of it. We're going there this time. One turn down, four more to go. And my challenge for you, if you can see your RPM, every time we turn to the right, do not let your RPM drop. That's how you're going to get your watch. So climb a little higher, climb a little higher, climb a little higher. Keep your cadence on, even as it gets harder. Because if we're turning to the right and adding more resistance, but our speed is dropping, we're not going to gain that much power or wattage. Find your dial, turn it right, number two. Three more to go, should be getting a little heavy by now. Friends, bring a heart rate monitor. You're around 70 to 75% of your max heart rate. If you're not wearing one, don't worry. You should be around a five on a scale of one to 10. Now, when I give you that number, that scale of one to 10 for your heart rate, that's your opportunity to adjust to meet us there. 
If you're way too high or way too low, adjust, meet us there. We've got one more turn in the saddle. Final two are out. Find your dial now. Turn it up, it should be heavy. Ooh, in the saddle. Can you keep your RPM right where you start this climb? For me, that was around 70 RPM. I'm going to keep myself to it the best I can. Heart rate's creeping up a little bit. So far, so good. Keep pushing down with the center of your foot into your pedal. Steady and strong, that's it. Team, find your dial. This one is so heavy that you can get out of the saddle. Are we ready? Turn it up. Take your hands out to third. We're up, we're out of the saddle. Our hips are back right over the saddle. Our shoulders are relaxed. Our hands are relaxed on the handlebar. We should be entering a zone three by now. You're closer to a six on a scale of one to 10. Less than a minute. One more right turn. Team, find your dial. Turn it up. Let's go, let's climb all the way to the top. Recovery's on the other end. Here's that chance to get your walk up. Let's see, walk up. Power up, energy up. You're right there, stick with me. We can do this, 30 seconds. A little closer with every pedal stroke. We should be breathing in and out through the mouth. It's heavy, it's hard, it's tough. Own it. That time is running out. You have about 12 seconds to go. Stay with me. Yes, we can, yes, we can. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Have a steep dial left. Climb number two is done. Round number two is done. Two down. For now, just enjoy this seated flat. Enjoy your recovery. Just as before, you have about two minutes here to recover, catch your breath. You can feel that breath coming back into your body. Your jaws relaxing, shoulders. The more relaxed your upper body is, the better we're able to breathe, the better we feel, the more energy that we can put on this foot. So, I'll keep reminding you, relax your upper body. Breathe well, breathe deep, deep down into your diaphragm, not just the chest, but deep down into your lungs. Embrace the breath. Give your toes a little wiggle in your shoes once again. got to see a bit of standing climb last time, seated to standing. Our climb coming up in just over a minute, we move on. Climb coming up is a mix, in and out of the saddle. I want us to focus on the transition as you get out of the saddle, make it as smooth as you can. Core engagement and control, enough resistance underneath your feet that you feel supported when you come up. And then let it be smooth as you come back down into the saddle, We're not plopping our hips down. I'll remind you of this later. But here's the deal, every time we get out of the saddle, we turn to the right first. So it gets a little heavier that we want to get out of the saddle for. The real challenge though, comes when we come back down into the saddle. And it's heavy and it's hard. And we want you to keep your RPM up. We're not gonna drop when we hit the saddle. So I know you can do this, I don't even have to ask. I'm not even worried and neither should you. Enjoy these last few moments of your flat road easy recovery zone one. I'm someone that loves on my own rides, I'll be honest, to breeze through the recovery. I want to get to the next thing, I want to work, I want to go. And if I've learned anything through my experience of riding, my experience with injuries and other things as well, the recovery is important. The better you recover, the better you can push. So whether you're ready to go and go and go or not, take in these last 10 seconds. We'll move on together, last 15 seconds. Get ready to turn your dial up, enough that it slows your legs down. We're looking for 60 to 80 RPM. I recommend you start closer to 70 though. Find your dial, let's do this, turn right.
you got about a four and a half minute climb this time. Four and a half minutes. We turned up. RPM, 60 to 80. We're in the saddle. Four times. You turn to the right. It's heavy enough that you kind of want to get up, and we will. And then we come back to the saddle. You're focused on control as you move in and out of the saddle. AKA, we're doing jumps on a hill. Find your dial. Turn to the right. Hands reach forward, you lift up. Now, you should be in already a hard place with your resistance. If not, you get to take a bonus turn or two. I'm not quite there, so I'm going to add on. We should already feel that heaviness in our legs. Strong resistance. We're getting ready to find a seat. Do it with control. Maintain your cadence. Three, two, one, to the saddle. Ooh, I told you this would be the hard part. In the saddle, it's heavy, it's hard, it's tough. We still have three more to go. We can do this. Take a breath. Find your dial. Turn right, get up. Our RPM are no lower than 60. That means I want you at 60, 65, 70, maybe 75 if you can. Let's see it. We're going back to the saddle. Brace yourself. Three, two, one, sit. Two down, two to go. Push through that heaviness. We're in zone three, there's no doubt. When we're in a zone three, there should be no question about it. You know you're there. On a scale of one to 10, you should be around a six right now. Heart rate monitors, you're around 80 to 85% of your max heart rate. Number three is coming up. Find your dial. Turn it up, get on up, let's go. Just under two minutes left. Just under two. Enjoy this moment out of the saddle. You know what comes next. Three, two, one. Have a seat. Hand positioning wherever you'd like. You can be in second position, first, whatever feels best for you. I want you to own this positioning. Good news, just over a minute left, one round to go. We should be breathing heavy. This should feel harder now than it did at the end of your last climb. Stay with me team, let's go. Do what you need to, you can close your eyes, you can bob your head, you can follow the music. Own it, less than a minute. One more round, three, two, turn it up. Get on up. Remember our overall goal is to work harder by the end of each climb than the one before. If you're looking at metrics, our watch should be higher now than they were at the end of your second climb, your last one. And if you're not, you should feel more. Heart rates up more, you're a little sweatier. Your legs are asking for recovery more than they did last time. On a scale of one to 10, you're around a seven. Show me 15 seconds. We finish out of the saddle right here. All the way to the top, let's do it. Eight, six, we recover next. Five, four, three, two, and one, have a seat. Dial left and recover. Welcome back to your seated flat. Take it in. Take those nice deep breaths. Slow down your heart rate. Come back to those small sips of water. Notice how you felt by the end of that climb. Now I know this music intensity is still up. I wanted to let it be kind of your mental drive here. Physically, we're relaxed, but mentally, we're still on. 
Our brain is not drifting into the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. We are right here, focused on the remainder of our ride. And guess what? We're already over halfway done with our ride. We have three climbs down, two climbs to go. Remember, that first one was like practice. Pleasure turns into pain. Now, we have a slightly longer recovery here. You have an option. We're going to an active recovery. So, we'll bring a little bit of effort back onto your bike. You choose how much. I don't want you working harder than a three out of 10. It is easy, easy effort, okay? Make sure that you do not take all of your assistance off your bike. There's still something you're on your flat road. RPM 80 to 100. We did these in our warm up. You're adding on five to 10 RPM, a little bit of speed. Get ready. In three, in two, in one. Pick up your speed, let's go. If you like riding to the beat of the music, you could catch the beat and be right where you're meant to be. Now, if it feels like you're flying downhill, your hips are bouncing in the saddle, you do not have enough resistance on your bike. Turn it up, get grounded, find control. That control comes from resistance. Not from mentally telling yourself to control. It means you need to load your wheel, load the bike. Hold that faster speed for three, for two, and one. Let it go. Back to that slower pace. Around 80 to 100 RPM in that range. We get to do that one more time. One last little speed burst. Again, it's easy effort. Not asking a lot here. Three, two, one, pick it up. 20 seconds. Go for it. Just enough to get the blood flowing back through the body to keep our focus on to stay present. But we can still breathe well. Hold it for five, for four, three, two, and one. Back to your slower pace. And it's not a slow pace by any means, but it's slower than what you just did. Let's come back to our breath. A slow inhale through the nose. I am lost in this a slow exhale confusion. out through the mouth. A slow one. Two more times. Confusion, inhale. Confusion, and exhale. Confusion, Last confusion, full deep breath. Inhale. Confusion, and exhale. Confusion, You've got less than 30 seconds. We move on into climb number four out of five. Our second last climb. Now, I don't know if you remember. It's been a couple minutes. But how heavy, how hard that last climb was. Remember, we're trying to level up a little bit. A little bit harder, a little bit more. Are you ready? I know we are. It's not even, it's a rhetorical question. Because I know we've got this. All right, five seconds. Find your dial. Four, three, two, one. Turn your dial up. You're turning it up. Slows the legs down. Five minutes on the clock here this time. A full five. My Rhythm Rider to catch that beat right where you're meant to be. A nice, smooth, slow 60 RPM. Now, remember those accelerations we just did? We get to do them again. A little different this time. Most of our climbs we've been adding, adding, adding resistance. So in a slow, gradual climb. This one is going to stay relatively steady. Not a lot of changes in resistance, but rather changes in speed. So, start with moderate to heavy resistance. Not the heaviest you can handle, but heavy. I want you to be on the edge of zone three right here. You're on a five or a six on a scale of one to 10. You're just past that place where it feels moderate. This resistance should be heavy enough that when we get out of the saddle in a moment, you feel supported. If not, turn your dial up, get ready. Three, two, one, you're up, out of the saddle. RPM still at at least 60. Now, when I say go, our hips find the saddle and we accelerate. That's the catch. We know there had to be a catch, right? If we're not turning right, we had to increase our effort somewhere, somehow. You've got 20 seconds in the saddle of speed. We go in three, two, one, have a seat, pick up your speed. You're adding five to 10 RPM onto your pace. Five to 10 RPM. And once you've added it, you maintain it. It's one thing to go, but can you hold it? You're already over halfway. Keep that faster speed. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Back to the slower pace, no slower than 60 RPM. Breathe. You should have felt a bit of a heart rate spike on that speed push. Check in with your resistance. Now that you added a speed push on it, if it does not feel heavy to you, turn up your dial. You own this ride. You're getting ready to go back up out of the saddle. Three, two, and one. We're in hand position three. Hands come forward, hips lift up. Again, our hips should be right over our pedals, right over our feet. Not too far forward, not too far back. Like Goldilocks, just right. Come back to your baseline pace if you're not already there. You're back to your five or six on a scale of one to 10. When we do this speed push in the saddle, it's 30 seconds this time, by the way. You're pushing towards a seven to almost an eight on a scale of one to 10. That would be 80 to 85% of your max heart rate if you're wearing a monitor. Get ready, 30 seconds in three, in two, in one, have a seat, pick it up, let's go. Here's that hard push. It's not a crazy huge jump. You're not going from 60 to 80 RPM. Ooh, but it's one that builds. You feel it, I feel it, I know you do too. Stay on, halfway. It's tempting to slow down. It's tempting to pull back. But you're committing to this time. Let it run out. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow down. Guess what? One minute to go. Let's get out of the saddle. One minute left. Feel a sense of urgency to put the effort on your bike, to make this time count, to go. We don't save it all for the end of each climb. You've been working hard throughout every time. One more to go. It is 40 seconds in length. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, one, six. Pick it up, 40 seconds. We are here through the end of this climb. My friends, with your metrics, check out your watts. They should be a little higher than your previous climbs at this point. If not, turn that dial up. Team, find your eight out of 10. Hard, hard effort. Big push. You're over halfway there, less than 20 seconds. Stay on. Charge up this hill with me. 10. All the way, that's five. That's four, come on. Three, two, one. Slow down, let it go. Dial left. Four climbs done. One climb to go, just one. We're not even going to think about it for now. We just recover. You should feel like you need time here. That your heart rate's up. If I were to ask you a question, you wouldn't want to answer it. You're still catching your breath. So I won't ask you any questions. I'll just let you breathe and be here on your seated flat. final climb coming up. Now you've had a couple of treats. What I mean by treats is some of them haven't been a full five minute climb. Your last one was, your first one was. Number two and number three were not. Closer to four. This last one's a full five minutes. We work in a hard place throughout the whole time. Similar to your last one, but again, we're trying to level it up just a little bit if we can. So reflect back on your previous climbs, especially the last two. If there were any moments where it kind of felt a little easy, or a little comfortable, we're taking that out from this final climb. There should not be really any moment where it is comfortable. It should be tough, hard, heavy for your five minutes. Manageable, we want to set ourselves up for success. So you're not going crazy right off the bat. This is what I talked about in our warm up 30 minutes ago, 30 plus minutes ago, where I want you to find the edge, that sweet spot between pushing yourself hard and not biting off more than you can chew. 
because we will have opportunities throughout to increase as needed, if needed. We get to combine our previous two climbs. If you forget, that's good. If not, I'm here to remind you. We turn to the right to get out of the saddle. When we hit the saddle, we accelerate. So the last two climbs, one part in or out of the saddle could have felt a little easier. Again, this one, there's no easy. It's all hard. Get ready. You've got 10 seconds. We'll turn your dial up to the right. We will begin our final climb of our ride. Five minutes of effort and then you're done. Commit to this time, not for me, but for you. Find your dial. Turn up to the right. Find a hard resistance that you can build up from. So remember, we are going to add to your dial. We are going to add to your RPM. But it's not comfortable. It is definitely not easy. So if you feel either of those adjectives, <laughs> turn your dial up. Find hard. Find uncomfortable, but not your hardest. Not your most uncomfortable. Not there. Team, you're getting ready to turn your dial. Get out of the saddle. Three, two, one. Turn it up. Get up. RPM range has stayed the same. 60 to 80 RPM. Check out your current pace, your current cadence, where you're at right now. Because when your hips find the saddle in about 15 seconds, you get to accelerate. Add on five to 10 RPM. Whatever pace, whatever cadence you're at right now is the cadence you'll find when you get out of the saddle every time. So put it in the back of your brain. In three, in two, and one. Have a seat, 30 seconds, pick up your pace. 30 seconds, go. And it's five to 10 RPM faster, no more. If you feel like you could go 15 to 20 RPM faster, your resistance is not heavy enough. I'll tell you that right now. You're over halfway. Come on, riders, we're in this less than 10. You get to get out of the saddle and go to your slower pace. Do you remember what it was? Three, two, one, you're up. Back to your slower pace. Now over time, it's going to get tempting as you come out of the saddle to really slow down. Nothing easy, nothing comfortable for the remainder of this climb. You know this. I warned you from the very beginning. You knew what to expect. Now is our time to put it to the test. Get ready to sit and accelerate in three, two, one, sit. Pick it up, 40 seconds, four, zero. You're getting heavy, or at least you should be. If you're not, turn your dial up. I'm gonna get a tattoo that says that. Turn your dial up, maybe not a tattoo, a sticker. For how often I say it needs rise together, turn your dial up, turn your dial up. I feel like I need it framed somewhere. We're over halfway there. Your goal is to just maintain your speed. When the speed pulls back before you get out of the saddle, don't forget we turn to the right. Five, four, hold it. Three, two, before you get out of the saddle. Turn your dial right, now get up. Just about two minutes to go. That means you have two rounds left. It should feel like you're really pushing, testing your limits by this point. Scale of one to 10 is around an eight. And that stays whether you're out of the saddle, pushing through hard resistance, or in the saddle, working on your speed. 50 seconds, five zero. We're in the saddle in three, two, one. Pick up your speed, let's go, five, Zero. It's your longest interval push. Take it piece by piece. One pedal stroke at a time. Can you maintain that momentum? Guess what, riders? You're coming up on your happy mark. 25 seconds down, 25 seconds to go. Stay with it, you can do it. Push, 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 yep. It's uncomfortable, it's heavy, it's hard. You're ready to be done with this speed, I know it. 
10 seconds. We take our final turn to the right to get out of the saddle. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Turn right, come on up. Go back to your baseline, Hayden. I have good news. Less than a minute. One final acceleration coming up. It's only 30 seconds. Get ready in three, two, one, sit, go. 30 seconds, pick it up. We are here through the end of the final climb. Are you feeling that five round madness yet? I know you are, you're already halfway there. 15 seconds to go, hold it. Drive, drive, yep. All the way through the finish, less than 10. I know we want to slow down. I know you've got the energy to hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Dial left. Slow your legs down. Easy resistance. Welcome back to your flat road. Welcome back to zone one. You made it. Just about. All the climbs are over. All the hard effort is over. But we do have to take the time to cool down, to stretch, and then I'll send you into the rest of your day. Until then, finish this time with me. You owe it to yourself. You deserve it for yourself. When the rain comes in, Feel your heart rate coming back down. Your breath is a little more fluid, a little more natural. It's a little easier to breathe. Does it feel like your legs should no longer be screaming at you that they're on fire. Wildlife crying Take three deep breaths on your own. Again, you're thinking about sending this breath down into your diaphragm, down into your lungs that expand like a balloon. And then exhale. Two more. Inhale. Not the chest, but the belly. Last breath. Exhale, release. If you'd like to stay on your bike and take some more deep breaths, if you feel like you're not quite ready to get off the bike and stop moving, stay here and pedal some more. Otherwise, you can press down on your dial or bring your legs to a stop, however is easiest for you. Come on to one side of your bike. Doesn't matter which, whatever you have more space on. From here, take one foot, cross it over your standing legs. We'll take a standing figure four stretch. Ooh, hinge your hips back so your outer hip open up. So it only as deep as feels comfortable for you, where you feel a stretch, but it's not forced. It's not tight, it's not pulling. That bike is just there for balance rather than leverage. Hands are light. Stand on up. We'll hit the other side. Opposite foot crosses over. Take an inhale. And then on your exhale, you hinge from the hips. Sit them back like you're sitting in a chair. And bike is just there for balance, not leverage. Mostly for your own safety here. Let your hips be where you get your depth from, where you get the stretch from. Good. Stand up. We'll take a quad stretch on each leg, and then you're done. One foot comes up to the back side of your body. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then kick your foot down into your hand. Let it be an active stretch. Opening up the front side of the body, your quadricep, your hip flexor. Good, and release. Take it to your other foot. Same thing, stand tall. Inner thighs come together. Kick that foot down into your hand. Feel an active stretch. I know your quads have to do a little bit more work and then they're done, I promise. Breathe, shoulder blades draw together. Good, let the foot go down. Give your legs, your arms a little shake. Take an arm swing or two. Let your chest, your shoulders, your back open up. We'll take one last deep breath together and then you're on your way into the rest of your day. Inhale, arms go up overhead, reach tall. Exhale, release. My name is Lindsay. Thank you so much for joining me on Spinning. I hope you had a great ride. I know I did. And I can't wait to see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.